Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 here with what for many of you might just be a blast from the past. Been doing a lot of talking clock videos on the channel. Well, this is similar and this is something I've wanted to do a video on for quite a while, but unfortunately I had not been able to get it working until now. But that has changed as of this week, so we're going to go ahead and do it. On the table here in front of me is a classic, and I mean classic, talking watch. I think so many people had these. I remember going to the School for the Blind and hearing these all over the place. So what is this you're probably wondering? Well, this is a Radio Shack talking watch that was sold well it was certainly sold by 2004 because that's when i got my first one of these i had a number of these and i got that one in november of 2004 and i think they were sold through at least 2007 so let's go ahead and take a look now a few things to note here this is kind of broken still but it's at least sort of in working order so i can demonstrate it so I'll give a tour of it. The front of it, it's a square kind of shape, and the top of it has the speaker. Get in to that, and with some, I'd assume some Radio Shack branding. And below that is a small display where you'd be able to look at the time. Now, unfortunately, the display on this seems to have completely worn out. It's not working. Then on the left side, we have a mode button, which is recessed. You kind of have to put your fingernail in to press it. And below that is a button that turns your alarm on off and also moves you through the hours. On the opposite side, we have the talk button. And below that, now the button actually fell out. That's another thing that's broken on this. Um, for it but i can still activate it is the minute button which also controls the hourly announcement now i say this is a blast from the past because i'm sure so many of you have heard this voice i'm going to go ahead and press the talk button let's get the time it's oh my goodness what a voice so we can press the next the button to the right of that, which is the minute slash hourly report control. So I'll do that. Now I've just turned off the hourly chime. But if I press it again, it's back on. It confirms that with four beeps. Now we'll go through the mode real quick. So I'll go ahead and press mode, pressing it once sets the time. I can just verify that. It's 7 and pressing it again does alarm time. 12 and pressing it again, we should hear three beeps, it takes us back to the time display. Now, it is just about midnight, so I'm going to allow you to hear the alarm, which is going to go off. And again, <laughs> classic alarm on this talking watch. The classic rooster. Okay, I'm going to press the talk button to silence that. It's 12 o'clock a.m. My goodness. I'm sure that's familiar to and a blast from the past for those of you who had this particular watch. Now, we can actually make it do the rooster crow whenever we want. If we press and hold this talk button...
<laughs> oh my goodness, the memories, even for me, of hearing that particular rooster alarm. So I will show, because I, I showed you how we'd go into the setting to change like the time or the alarm time, but I didn't change it because I wanted you to get to hear the rooster go off. Now, I do apologize. You may have heard in the background my iPad with a chiming clock, which had a cuckoo clock going on. So that covered up a bit of the rooster, but hopefully you did get to hear it. Well, you definitely heard it because I made it do it again. Um, so I'll just show you though what it's like setting this because it can be annoying because of the bong. So let's go ahead and set the alarm time. I'll press the mode button twice. Now again, this is kind of recessed. You have to put your nail in. Okay, two beeps is alarm set, and it is now set for 12 o'clock a.m. Okay, let's say I want to set this for 9.05 a.m. So I'll press the hour button, which is right next to that mode key. 1 a.m. 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay, there's 9 a.m. Of course, we could verify that again by pressing the talk button. 9 o'clock a.m. And we'll press the minute button, and we'll set this for 9.05. So if we press the minute button, it'll start to cycle us through. Now, again, my button is broken, but I can still activate it. So now we should be at 9.05 a.m. Actually, let's say we want to, so we can hear a few more numbers, go through a little bit more. Say 9.30. 6, 8. Okay, it's a bit hard to press. 9, 10, 11. <laughs> the way she says 11, it's kind of interesting. Actually gonna stop at 20. It's starting to hurt my finger pressing this button because it's not really a button to press. 19, there we go. So we can verify that's 920 by pressing the talk button. 920 okay, now let's go back to time display by pressing mode. And three beeps signifies that. Now turning the alarm on and off we can do by pressing the hour button when we're in the time display. It just beeps and that means alarm is off. Now if we turn it on, 9 a.m. It says 9.20 a.m. So you know what it's set for. So this just has a standard um like leather band. But unfortunately I think a piece might have broken because I can't really seem to get it on my wrist. But regardless, it's still cool to hear this thing in operation again. And I don't know much about this particular watch. Like I said, I know it was sold, you know, in the early 2000s, but I'm willing to bet that it was sold for quite a bit longer. I mean, it's these were everywhere. I had a number of these. I had some that broke, so I got another one. Or a small collection of these. I think I had like four of these at one time. One thing I did have which was interesting was a silver model of this. It was exactly the same, but it was silver. And I think it did have different branding on it. It was in a catalog for the blind, I think. But that one, you know, it was the same as this, except different color and different branding. The other thing that's interesting too is this particular voice chip, I'm assuming it is kind of a cheaper 
chip because I've actually heard some variety and pitch of it. So this one. You know, the ding is not really B flat, but a little bit flatter than that. So it's closer to A. Now that silver one I had was completely in A, but then I've heard this chip be in B flat. And even the very first one I had was actually in B. So, you know, the chip can sound a little bit different. I'm guessing it's just how they're, how they're made. So that is pretty much all I think I wanted to cover in this video. I've been wanting to make this one for quite a while because I haven't really seen any videos of this particular watch. And that kind of surprised me because these were like ubiquitous. You could f see them, like I said, all over, you know, Perkins, which is where I went to. School. I could hear these things everywhere. So it really took me by surprise that I couldn't find a demo of this one. I do believe there's a newer version of it that uses the same design but has a newer voice chip. But I'm glad to have the original. Like, this is a classic. So I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration of it. And stay tuned for more content and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe like the video and turn on click the bell get notified about upcoming videos now before we end this video why not we have to one more rooster Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more, and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.